All right, we left off where they were talking about doing the science fair so that they could up their scores so they could try to save Mr. Kerman's job. This is part two of chapter 27. Uh, it ended with, I'm sure it would, she said finally, but remember Mr. Kermit's answer was no to the science fair. Yeah, but that was before he got canned, barnstorm reasons. That changes everything, right? She shakes her head. Mr. Kermit is a very private person. He wouldn't want you to take his personal problems onto yourselves. What if we don't tell him about it? Rahim muses. Be serious, Miss Fountain insists. He's still your teacher until the end of the term. How can you expect to do a science fair project and keep it secret from him? Terra Nova Motors, I explain. I bet Jack, Jake will let us work there. Miss Fountain, we can do this. I know we can. By now, the others are grouped around me and we're confronting Miss Fountain as if daring her to say no. Entering doesn't mean you're going to win, she reminds us. But not entering means we lose for sure, Mateo counters. It'll be a long shot, the teacher warns. You don't even have a topic yet, and the other groups have been working for weeks. So it's a yes, I prompt. The cheer that interrupts when Miss Fountain nods is loud enough to bring Jake running from the next room. He loves the idea and pleads to do everything he can to help us courtesy of his dealership. Rule one, which Matteo calls the prime directive. Mr. Kermit is not allowed to know about our project. If he finds out, the deal is off. We'll put our, we'll up our Terra Nova Motors visits to three afternoons per week. Miss Fountain will come up with us if Mr. Kermit will look after her class. We'll work weekends too, whatever it takes. After lunch, Jake acts as our chaperone on the mini bus over to the dealership. As excited as we are, the ride is somber. With Mr. Kermit's job on the line, the stakes are sky high and we haven't even started planning yet. Do you really think we can pull this off? Parker asked dubiously. Have you ever seen the kind of kids who enter the science fair? They're like smart. There are different kinds of smart, Jack. Jake puts in positively. School is important, but there are things you can't learn from books. You mean the internet, Mateo asks. I mean street smarts, Jake explains. I was never the greatest student, but I knew how to scratch and claw and build a business. Trust me, you guys have the street smarts coming out your ears. That's what's going to give you the perfect project. What's the project going to be? Aldo asks. That's what we have to figure out, I say. It can't be too simple because we have to blow the judges away. But we don't have much time either. The science fair is in three weeks. The bus pulls up to the dealership service area and we file out onto the pavement. We're about to enter the building when Parker points. Hey, isn't that Mr. Kermit's car? We all look. On a flatbed tow truck parked outside the service base sits the rusted remains of an ancient Chrysler that might have once been blue. Parts are all around it, also rusted, some broken. Jack sighs. Poor guy, like he doesn't have enough hanging over his head. Now he has to take taxis to school. When's it gonna get fixed, Mateo asks. You don't fix something like that, Elaine remarks. You give it a decent burial. Jake nods. I only towed it here to get it out of the school's driveway. Seems a shame to waste a whole car, Parker muses. That's no car, Barnstorm retorts. It's a pile of garbage. It was garbage and even when to ribbit was still driving it. I have some respect for the dead, I put in morsefully. Respect, Jake echoes wanely. Emma says her mother picked out that Chrysler. It's older than she is. 
Mateo pipes up. You know the part in Harry Potter where Mr. Weasley uses magic to enchant an old car to make it fly? Not now, Mateo. I try to say it kindly. We have to come up with a topic for our science fair project. Well, that's just it, he insists. The car needs respect and we need a project. All that's missing is a little magic. What do you think they're gonna do with the car for their science fair project? <laughs>